Okay, so now that we've gotten this far, we can come in here and do um, some things to it in here, like divide it and put some adaptive components or put some different things on it. But I want to show you, like to get it into the project and maybe put curtain walls or something on it. Um, you will need to adjust and make these surfaces developable because right now they're curved. You can see that curving. So in order to do that, you can pick the uh, mass and you can come in and under form element is add edge and you can come in and pick there and pick there and it will split those guys so I could do the same thing for this and it'll make it developable which means basically right that it's triangulated and flat so I'll go to add edge and then we could do this way or that way just depends on how you want to do it. All right, so it's just basically going in and making those things that have curvature flat, right? So you can see this one has curvature over here. So we can go boom, boom, and the same thing with this one, right? So form element, add edge, and we'll put this one over here like that. All right, we may need some, we may need it in other places, but I just wanted to do that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and put this in a project. So I'm going to go to File, New, Project, and I'm going to start with the architecture template and just click OK. It's going to bring me into level one. I'll control tab back to my mass and I can save this as maybe a, something that's not as random as family two. I can save this as, you know, blend blend mass. Okay. And then I can load that into project and it will load it in here and turn the masses on for you. And then you can see it's bringing that mass in and I just placed it on level one and I'm going to hit escape twice to stop from placing more of them. And then I'll go into my 3d view up here, right? So there it is. You'll notice in here, it actually is transparent because in the projects, Revit thinks that you want to use this to make other things with, so you can kind of see through it. But at this point, we can go in and put some roofs and walls on here. So if I go into architecture, wall, wall by face, I can put a curtain wall on the vertical pieces. So you see this curtain wall and I can select that and it will put like a curtain wall with glass on that face. And if it's vertical, it will go around and do it, right? So I can just do that, or I can put a solid wall on there as well. So I could just go in and put like a generic five inch wall, right? So that's a solid wall. So if I go to shaded mode, you're gonna see that guy's solid, right? And those are the curtain walls. And we can adjust them so they hit at the same height if we want to. It will not put um, a curtain wall on a sloping surface, I don't believe. So let's go to storefront. Like if I go to architecture, wall by face, and try to pick that, it will yell at me. But you can go in and put a roof by face on. So if I go to roof by face and I pick sloped glazing, it will allow me to put that on there, there, and I'll create the roof. And then now if I pick that slope glazing, right, I can go to edit type. I can duplicate that type, give it a name, slope glazing two, and I can, you know, set a grid layout for it, like at a fixed number and a fixed number. And I can put mullions on it, you know, just like the, but now you've got sloped glazing on there. Now I picked these both at the same time so they're connected. I could go in and pick them individually so they're not connected and then I could, you know, like align, align to do that. I could align, I could rotate these um, individually. So we can talk about that later, but this is just a quick, you know, look at how things can be done. Um, I guess the last thing I'll do is I have my control tab back to my mass and I change it in some way. So say I move that 
right out and then maybe I you know tap select that and move it up so this thing is changing right I can then load that into project overwrite the existing version you'll see that update and if I go back to my 3d view right you can see that things have have kind of broken apart but you can pick the ones that are different and update to face right and they will update right so if I pick that and update to face right it will update okay all right 